Hey guys, Drew here over at Rev Hiker Outdoors, and I've got a video for you today. I know you've heard me talk a lot about the SOL Escape Bivy, uh, this this little guy here, um, and I, I've been talking about doing a video about my modification to it. Now I just finished it on mine, but I've got a su subscriber that actually lives pretty close to me, and we got a chance to meet up and talk. And anyway, I'm doing the modification on his bag as well because he bought it the other day, and uh, so what I'm going to do is make it so that it fits bigger guys. The one thing I've always said about it is that it's too tight. So I've expanded mine by about a foot and a half up top. So it's really roomy and I'll be able to slip it over another bag or blanket or bulky clothes and just have more room in general. Uh, so I'm gonna show you kind of step by step how to do that. And uh, first off, what you'll need is obviously an escape bivy. Uh, the next thing you'll need, what I used is the SOL uh, it's like this utility blanket, okay? They call it the sport utility blanket. Um, and it's just a, it's a five by nine reflective blanket. This is it here. And I chose that because it still had the reflective stuff on the inside and it's very tough. They show it on the back, carrying wood, being a shelter, all kinds of ridiculous things that you probably wouldn't do. It's, it's basically like a reflective tarp, um, but it's just light duty. One thing I will say, when you open that thing up for the first time, when you take it out of this package, it stinks. Man, does it stink. It just has a terrible smell, like a very chemical type nasty smell. So you're gonna have to get that out of there somehow. I just, I just had to air mine out for a while and it'll go away eventually, I hope, because uh, it would stink to sleep like that. Um, but I can already tell after working with it, the, the smell went away after the, the blanket was aired out for a few minutes. Uh, it's pretty much, pretty much almost gone. Okay, so you need the sport utility blanket, you need your escape bivy. Um, I've got some just general purpose spray adhesive and that's what I used. Um, if I find that that's not enough, what I'll probably do is just take some duct tape and hit the seams as well. Uh, decent pair of scissors, uh, something to mark with, and I've got a, a scrap of, of Luan here that I'm gonna use for marking it. Uh, so like I said, I already did mine to make sure this worked before I went and cut up his brand spanking new bivy that I just pulled out of the package today. Um, but what I'm going to do <coughs> is um, just show you guys, but um, basically let me just tell you how it goes. You cut a slit in the back of the bivy all the way down from the head down to about, um, you know, maybe, maybe a foot and a half, two feet from, from the end of the foot box. You open it up and then you just glue in a triangular piece of, of this sport utility blanket and that's going to give you a boatload more room. You still have the use of your zipper. Uh, the one thing you lose is the cinch so you can cinch it down around your face. But uh, it's not that all that big a deal to me. Uh, I, can always, I can always figure something out for that later. Uh, and, and I kind of made provision for that as I built it so uh, I will show that to you. But anyway, um, I'm going to stop talking and uh, I'm going to readjust the camera so you get a little more view here and I'm just going to I'm going to just show you step by step so stick Okay, so step 1 is just lay out your bag and cut it. Now when they come, there's a crease right down the center so it kind of gives you a nice uh, line with mine I didn't have that. I just had to kind of guess. But this is nice cuz it comes with uh, almost a guideline here. Okay, so your next step is you gotta cut the uh, utility blanket. Now, there's grommets a couple inches in so you can use this as a tarp and stuff. So you have to just slice one side off and again, use the creases that come in it as a guide. And then I use uh, this piece of Luan as a straight edge and I take a Sharpie and I get the V as wide as I want it uh, and then I just draw a line and cut. Now down at the bottom, you can see here, left quite a, a chunk there. That's because you need to leave a good, you know, at least two inches for overlap. And I want there to be a big coverage down at the bottom so that that tear doesn't continue that, that we cut into the bag. So make it wider than what you actually want it because you need the overlap to glue everything together. You want a good contact patch so you have plenty of adhesive uh, holding this together. So again, it's, it's only gonna be maybe this wide because you're leaving a couple inches on each side. So I'm actually going to widen this out a little bit 
out of the top. I'd rather have it a little too big than a little too small. So just trace it out and then cut it. Okay, so this is where it can get tricky. This is the glue part, and you got to make sure that you don't have overspray on to like everything because you might actually glue your bag together. So what I do is take the foot of this thing, it's going to be down at the bottom, and I, I spray it pretty broadly. Then I put it down in there, and I, I let it tack up for a little while, uh, maybe 30 seconds to a minute, something like that. Uh, then I stick it on because it has a nice high tack. Once I feel that that's pretty much stuck on there, I, I go ahead and I peel these back like this and I'll spray down one side and then I'll lay it down all in one piece and press it all out make sure that this is nice and taut and that that's nice and taut so there's no wrinkles and screw ups. Uh, then I'll wait till that's good and dry and I'll go ahead and do the other side. So uh, I'll show a little bit on video, then I'll cut, and then I'll show you how I finish it off at the top. So here we go. Now make sure that your adhesive is nice and uh, shaken, not stirred. You have to try to match up these angles as much as you can in the beginning so you're not fighting it towards the end. Okay, so I actually misspoke before when I said I spray the bag. I actually spray this here. And uh, it's okay if you spray a little extra because it'll just dry and then it won't stick to anything. So get yourself a piece of cardboard, piece of foot, whatever you got to hold as a backer when you spray so that you don't overspray onto the bag. And then just get, you know, a couple inches on here. Okay, so now here's the last step after you finish this side that we did first. Go ahead and finish up and repeat the same process here. Um, next, you want to finish off the top. So what I do is I cut a couple inches above where the, the uh, bag would normally fall. Okay guys, so this is what it should look like when you're all finished. Something similar to that. Okay guys, so I have high, uh, hanging behind me uh, the first bag that I did. Uh, and basically what I, I made, made a couple of stakes on my first one, so I was able to fix them in the first, or uh, excuse me, in the second one. And basically the, the biggest problems were how you glue it. You really have to make sure that you don't get any on the inside. Now on the, my first attempt, I did get a little bit of glue on the inside, uh, so parts of the bags were sticking together. But what I did is I just kind of lifted up over my head and kind of went through there and just, you know, pried it all apart quite quickly after I realized what had happened so that it wouldn't, uh, you know, so it wouldn't really stick uh, without messing with the actual bond between the two pieces I was putting together. So that came out great. This part, the, the second one I did had no, no problems. When you use that, that block piece and you, you paint the uh, piece of the blanket and then attach the bag to it, it really comes out good and then at the top for an extra secure fit uh, you saw that I folded it over and uh, came out came out really nice I'm, I'm pretty happy with it there's so much more room in the bag I kinda jumped inside the one I made uh, pretty quick just to see how it would be and came out great so anyway guys I hope this helps you uh, I, I hope that uh, you know maybe uh, if you were on the fence about buying one of these because uh, you say ah, I'm, I'm too I'm too big I'm you know I'm, I'm I got big shoulders I'm a bigger guy not gonna fit this this could make I mean really you, you could split this as, as large as you want it you could make this huge uh, if you wanted to put that blanket in like full piece knowing the whole length you, you could make this so that it would fit around a whole uh, you know a whole big size sleeping bag uh, so that you could you know add probably 15 20 degrees to your bag so Anyway, I think, uh, I think it's a really good mod. The one downside I can see is that this will probably be a little bit noisy, but um, once, once you're on it, you really shouldn't have to 
to move around a whole lot, especially in a hammock because they're so much more comfortable. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe. God bless you guys. Hope this helps. And uh, Gary, I will be calling you about your bag pretty soon, and I'll get it right over to you, man. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching.